Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Big Shot. By Jeff Kinney. <clears throat> Take a long grip. September, Monday. I have heard that athletes are born with a special guns that make them good at sports. Well, how, whatever those guns are, I guess I was born without them. Mom always said that everyone was part of the team. Has an important role to play, but when it comes to sports, it seems like my job is to make everyone, to everybody else, look good. At this point in my life, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to grow up to become a, a professional athlete. So I'm officially announcing my retirement. Um, the crazy thing is, um, I, used, I used to actually like sports, but that was back in, in preschool. When sports were still fun, the first sport I ever played was soccer. I didn't know the rules, but neither did any of the of, of the other kids. Starting, I'm starting a little bit. Chat. I'm sorry. So, so most of the time, um, it was I'm um, just on um, pure chaos on the field. Boop. Um, whenever the ball um went, um, we all chased after it. Um, every once in a while, um, the ball will pop out of the out of the pack. And go in someone's goal. Then everyone will celebrate. Nobody kept score, so you never knew who was winning or losing. And the parents didn't care, but because they were too busy doing their own things. The ref the refunds were middle school kids, and they didn't really pay attention to the game either. In fact, um, um the rest, um. Got the right green. Um, even blow their whistles when the ball went out of the bounds. So half of, of the time, um, we, um, we, uh, uh, we'd be playing on the wrong field and didn't know it. After the game, we always get slushies and junk food at the snack shack, at the snack shack. And sometimes, um, um, we even waited for the game to be over to treat ourselves. Snack shack. The coaches were really nice and made sure everyone got a chance to score and that made everyone feel good about themselves. Back then, I was sure I was going to grow up to be a professional soccer player. I even kept my rookie cookie in the mid condition in case it turned out to be worth some something one day. But um, when we got to kindergarten, everything changed. The rifles started using their whistles and they didn't let us go. Do, do the kinds of the things we got away with the year before. That season, the Rifles blew their whistles almost looked every time I touched the ball. So when I was in the game, I stand in the corner of the field and pray the ball didn't roll to me. It's not like I was getting a lot of playing time in kindergarten. Anyways, the coach only put in the coach only put in the, in the kids who were good, and the rest of us sat and. And the rest of us sat on the bench. Mom told us the reason why coach, the coach wasn't playing maybe was because I was his secret weapon. And he was saving me for a big moment. But I didn't understand that mom was just trying to make me feel better about myself. So whenever the coach did put me in the game, I'd go out there thinking I was hot stuff. Even the snack shack was wasn't fun this year. Some parents complained that they were selling too much junk food, so they replaced slushies and other surgery treats with healthy options. But the slushy sales from the snack shack paid for the field upkeep. So that year, the parks um, department could only afford to mow the grass once um every three weeks, um, um, and which really slowed the games down. After a, a bunch of kids 
um, got tri chicks from playing soccer um, in the long grass. They decided to end the season early, which is totally fine with me. I feel bad that I've never been so good at sports because I been because I think Dad was hoping I'd be a star athlete. Whenever he'd go to the library, he'd always come home with a um, with a snack of s sports books. I'm not sure there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, that there are kids who, who are into those types of stories. But that was never me. If you go to a library and you'll find sorts of books about kids who do amazing things and lead to their team's victories, but I never had any experience like that. I, 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 I I'll bet um that there are um are lots of kids out there just like me. So one of these days, somebody should write a book for the rest of us. It's not like I've got um, I, um and it's not like um, I've got anything against sports. I like them just fine, as long as I'm not the one playing. It, in fact, this summer I watched it and blink. Um, I watched the apocalypse on TV pretty much not much nonstop. I mean, this summer um, I watched the Olympics on TV pretty much not pretty much nonstop. It was mom's idea for us to watch the games as the family. She says that these days, um, um, um in these days, um, um, everyone's um in their own bubbles and sports, um, is is um, it's the only things that um that could still bring people together. But I think um a law a little um togetherness goes a long way. Mom says she loves the Olympics because they show what human um, beings um, are capable um, of at doing their best. But I like watching for the bloopers. I'm glad it's somebody else out there and not me because I'm not sure if I'd be nervous. If I knew um, there was a, a, a millions of people watching from home and, and, um, um, and you will mess up um, 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 in the Olympics and you're supposed to act grateful about it. Graceful about it, I mean. Sorry, chat. But if I just spent four years of my life training and then um made um dumb mix mistakes, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure um I have to trouble smiling for the camera. That's why um I do one of those sports where um, um, um you'll be part of a team because then you'll get screwed up. It's harder for people to tell. Mind if I squeeze in you fellas? Four men blob silk. In fact, um, in fact, um, um, if I was in the Olympics, um, I'd be one of, um, um, I'd be, um, um, in one of those events where a horse was involved, because then if something goes wrong, at least you have to someone to blame. Things were going great until thunder freaking thing here screwed up. But now that I think about it, and that's pretty much the the reason why horses. Sometimes at the crowd. Even though we watched a lot of Olympics coverage, I still don't under understand why uh, um, the way everything works. For one thing, I don't see why they only hand all medals to athletes who take up the top three sports um was um, um in a competition. It seems to me like like um it should keep going the medals so everyone could go home with a prize. Greg healthily. The way it is right now, and they give you a gold medal if you take first place silver, if you take second and bronze, if you take third, that but I feel like there's pretty much big step down between silver and bronze. Silver. Silver. At least gold and silver are worth something, but if you want a bronze medal, you would be lucky to get a few bucks for it. I think at the moment, your medal is the most valuable right after you win it. So if I got one, I'd try to take advantage of the TV audience to buy it and find a buyer. During the medal cemetery, they have the top three athletes stand on the pot and then they play the gold medal. Medalists, national um 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 all them, 
I make the other two athletes stand out there and listen, but if I took sober or brows, I'd pop in earbuds so I could jam in to my own tunes. <laughs> Nick tunes. <laughs> One of mom's favorite things about the um on the um Olympics is when they fall um until the life stories of the app um, um, of the athletes who are competing some of the stories are really inspiring because a lot of these athletes had to overcome tough challenges to get where they are but if i 